What is your return on your investment? All right. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay. Check, check, check. I'm going to go to exit out of that, go to the YouTube. There it is. Expand. All right. Okay, everybody. Welcome. I'm Jennifer Nicole Lee. We're going to be doing a social media masterclass. We're kicking off now. We're going live. $5 to my PayPal. And also make sure you send in your questions. So excited. Hi there, Rhonda. Oh, darn it. Did I make it that way? Oh, well, they're gonna have to send, send in the money. <laughs> check, check, check. By the way, Rhonda, you done amazing on your social media. You've done amazing. Welcome. Yes, I will tell. All right, let's do this. Rhonda, I am so proud of you. All right, let's do it. This is here. Mute myself. Can you hear me okay? All right, and then go. All right, Queens, let's do this. Woo. Thank you, Rhonda, let's do this. I'm glad I went public so you could see me see the power of social media <laughs> all right so everybody we're kicking off now this is level six social media master class i you are doing so great hi michelle nice to see you i love that we are mastering our social media you have the power right in your fingertips we live in a society where we can celebrate our freedom of speech freedom of expression and listen we're going to use it so if you haven't already, send in the $5. If you're opting in at uh, 9.45, I'll be bringing on Yaya. I'm going to be going fast and furious. Hello, Valerie. Nice to see you. Hello there. Rhonda's here doing amazing with her social media. I'm going to go ahead and share this out with everybody, and I'm going to go right into it right now. I just want to say that we live in the best time right now that you can actually make being an influencer a social media manager, uh, influencer, actually a full-time profession. And people are making crazy money, 150K a year plus. So right now we're going to learn how to crack the social media code and get more results in less time. So Queens, we're going to be compounding on the last five master classes. What is your return on investment? We're going to be covering what is social media marketing agency, how people have started by just doing their own social media. And then they were able to um, crack the code 
and become an agency doing other user generated uh, uh, content and getting paid, contractually paid to, to just post. And that's what I love so much about this program. When I started marketing in 2003, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have apps, we didn't have social media. So I had to do it the hardcore way, which is place ads, magazines run 90 days in advance. So if I had an event, say in January, I would have to have the graphics done, everything done by that March of the following year. So this is like speed, agility, quickness. This is like fitness for your marketing. What are your goals right now? I'm going to read until uh, we get going in two minutes. I just want to get this link out to everybody that is wanting to tune in. And um, we're really going to go higher. We're going to go and get exactly what we need. Yes, yes, yes. Share it out. Here we go. Hello there, Dynamite Donna. You got the link. Hello, Diane Wiley. You're just doing so great with your social media. Another minute and we're going to then get started. I have a lot to, a lot of people are like, where's the link? Where's the link? Where's the link? So I'm using the power of social media to get it to them. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Uh, make sure you also have um, a pen and paper to take notes with. I have a lot of content to go over and I want you to grab as much as you can. All right. So here we go. I'm so proud of you all. This looks amazing. Okay, perfect. Um, we're going to jump right in. I'll be checking to see if anyone else needs the link here. Could you possibly? Okay, yes. All right. So right now, you are living in the best time to make money online. How many of you right now are already actively posting? How many of you already are on TikTok, Facebook, of course, YouTube? Um, of course, Instagram, I see your posts. And at the end of this, we're going to have a master link to have be shared out to everybody. Now, something when I was doing the research and discovery for this master class, you're going to make sure that you also dust off your TikTok. TikTok has made a big comeback. And I already see a lot of you on there as well. Um, I love to see that you're doing a lot of the promotion for the group. And if you're a business owner, CEO, if you also have another business that you're running, this is a great opportunity for you to get max results in minimum time to engage. Now I'm going to be going fast. What is your return on your investment? It really is what you put into it. You have to be strategic with your time. I really want you to write this down. Say, I will allot at least one hour a week. I'm not asking much. That's five minutes a day in the morning, five minutes in the night to post and create content. And when you do that, you create an audience. See, when you create an audience, then you have people's attention. We are day trading people's attention right now. Rhonda Walls, I wish I could find a way to quit my job. There may, <laughs> absolutely. You're doing so great. By the way, I want to give a big shout out to Rhonda. You're doing so, so good. And um, I love that you are taking everything that we learned so far and we're now going to compound interest on it. My goals are to reinforce what you've already learned to continue to build. This is where you can have fun curtailing and creating your social media plan pertaining to your goals. And again, keep your goals in mind. Ron is like, I'd like to make it a full-time profession. Right now, write this down. I will Google social media advertising agencies on Google. Social media advertising agencies on Google. Once you do that, you have a section there. Most of them have a section where you can upload your profile. You can go and reach out to them, let them know you're an influencer, share with them your Instagram and social media handles, let them know what your numbers are. And guess what? It's not about how many followers you have. Here's the kicker. Get excited, Queens. They're actually looking for micro influencers. They're looking for influencers that don't have millions of followers. They're looking for people that have, you know, just maybe a couple of thousand followers because they want those micro niches and you're able to get paid contractually, not just free product, get, but get paid contractually for your posting, doing user generated content. That's U S G. Okay. User generated content. 
I do that for the beauty box. You all have seen that. They're one of our proud sponsors. That's why I really love that you guys support that. But what I do, they've given me the login and, and picture yourself doing this, having a major brand's login to their social media and you're creating content for them with a contractual price, 10 posts a month. That is so easy to do. You can do that anywhere. You're going to become a Wi-Fi millionaire, a digital millionaire, okay? That's the cool thing about it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, Shelby. Yes, Carrie. Nice to see you. Financial freedom. Everyone's got a story. Use your story when you're posting. Also, you've got to engage. Tit for tat. What are your um, 120 cents? Gary V talks about your $2 worth of sense, meaning if you go to 30 different accounts a day and post and comment on someone's page and profile, you're leaving your two cents. And then you're now training the algorithm to let it know you're not a bot. You are not um, uh, artificial intelligence. You are a human and you're going to be ranked higher in your algorithm. So your post will be naturally then pushed out more. So write that down, make it a goal, 30 new accounts a day, Post your two cents, follow, engage, comment, and post also on your main profile. All right. Um, I know a lot of you are right now kicking it, just killing it on your social media. I want you to imagine yourself doing that for 10 more counts. How would you streamline your productivity? How would you streamline your time? Well, that's really cool because then you would be becoming your own social media marketing agency where we see people making a quarter of a million dollars. I'm not making this up. It's all on facts on YouTube with the biggest influencers where they went from just doing their account to then gaining multiple accounts. And now they're making 250K a year net off of just posting and creating content. It's never been more simple than ever. These people are not you know, highly glorified graphic artists, by the way, you should be really uh, focusing on your Canva. How many of you here have Canva? And you've been doing your Canva tutorials, which is very easy to do. Um, I'm really excited to see each of you grow. It's about getting out of your comfort zone. I had a question come in. It was like, Coach j &L, how do I get out of the fear of posting? This is my tip. You got to write this down. There's no better way to get your training wheels kind of up and spinning than in our group. We are a unconditional, super supportive group. You're posting in there. You're getting your, um, your posting muscles, uh, flexing and you're practicing, and then you're going to take it out into out of the group. And that's going to make you more confident. You got to punch fear in the face and just do it anyways. You got to get consumer attention, write that down consumer attention. How do you do that? You do that by engaging in a story. Donna, my Donna, Carrie, Shelby. Hello there, Kat. We're so happy to have you here. Um, you're able to share a story with everyone and make sure that she's on. And what is your Cinderella story? Everyone's looking for the Cinderella story. My Cinderella story is, and you have one too, you're the underdog. How did the underdog come out? That's how people are going to really connect with your story. Not positioning yourself as a highly sought after expert. That comes later. But winning over the hearts of your audience saying, I came from nothing. Hard work, dedication, passion is what I put into motion. And then I was able to have this victory. So think about your Cinderella story as you are getting consumer attention because we're in this virtual world and you have the power to connect and transform someone's life on the opposite side of the globe. Right now we have Scotland in the house. We have Canada in the house. We have everyone across the United States. We're going to also extract, when you're posting, you should be extracting consumer insights. What does that mean? If you have a product, a service, if you have a story, you wanna actually pull and ask questions to your audience, okay? So, um, as you develop your social media skills, and it doesn't need to be highly glossed over, the more professional it looks, the more I believe it turns off people. That's why these major corporations like Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Chipotle, major food brands are going to these TikTok influencers. Have you seen TikTok? By the way, facts, TikTok is the number one search engine for Gen Z, 
What does that mean? It means that people are actually going to TikTok and they're searching for how to. So for everyone on TikTok, keep going. I, not, I just from doing the research and discovery for this level six, I was uh, treating uh, my TikTok like a stepchild and kind of putting it in the back burner. I've knocked, I've knocked the dust off. I started posting back there. And I can tell you what, that's where the major brands are looking for influencers, TikTok. Yes, we're on Facebook. Yes, we're on Instagram. But don't turn a blind eye on TikTok. We're going to get to Threads. I know Threads launched July 5th, the day after uh, Labor Day. Sorry, uh, 4th of July. And Threads is um, <laughs> growing like wildfire. But I want to spend a little more time on TikTok. How many of you right now are on TikTok? I know Michelle is, Carrie is. I know many of you have accounts. Um, make sure you get to doing TikTok. It's a great, I saw a lot of the uh, Christmas in July posts from Warrior Wendy, Michelle uh, doing that. I saw Carrie's 100 rep challenge videos there. TikTok is important because number one, they shifted um, for having their hashtags go from 30, I think it was like 30, um, 300, now it's up to 2,200. Why is that? You have more room in your caption. It's not about creating these very lengthy uh, descriptions, but being very intentional what your keywords are. So how to get flat abs, how to get clean skin, how to do your meal prep, how to stay motivated, how to work out through chronic pain, whatever your Cinderella story is, Use that in the TikTok. Hello, Emily. Emily's on TikTok. Emily's here. She's the CEO of Miami Women Who Rock. She's been doing that for over 15, 16 years. Major influencer, major prolific woman of impact. We're so excited that we can now collectively learn. So it used to be 300 hashtags, um, actually words. You can go over 2,000 words, but be intentional. So say you're a YouTube influencer, you could put how to hashtag how to do YouTube shorts instead of just YouTube shorts. So I want you also to go live on TikTok. If you're looking, if your goal is to become financially free, get more traction, get the major brands to look at you for user generated content creation to have contracts where they're depositing money in your bank account every month. You want to make sure you're also going live and you're also going to social media marketing agencies on Google, seeing if any new ones pop up and adding your profile. Okay. Now, another major thing with TikTok, you can now do, go shopping on TikTok. So say you have a store, say you're doing e-commerce, say you're doing uh, drop shipping. By the way, people are making... Um, quarter of a million dollars, if not more from just drop shipping e-commerce. And that's for another conversation, but you have a product, you have a, an event, you have a course, you're doing coaching, consulting, whatever you're doing, make sure you are putting yourself out there on TikTok as well, because people can purchase through TikTok without leaving TikTok app. Um, you can actually do a sale right there. That's important for me because a one-stop VIP shop. So I'll be uh, tinkering with that as well in the future. It's almost like HSN QVC, but for TikTok. Okay. So right now you are in alignment to expand your brand, build your audience, and just really get yourself on a good social media calendar of posting. The great thing is, is that social media never sleeps. It's open 24, seven, seven days a week. So if you're making a reel, you can put it in your drafts. You can upload it. You can schedule it whenever you want to. Now, I know you're like, let's talk about threads. Okay, threads. How many of you have downloaded threads? Threads is Instagram take on Twitter. It is a Twitter killer. There's been a huge exodus of people leaving Twitter and moving to threads. Why? Because actually it is so easy and seamless to go from your Instagram profile and just go straight over right there. You can see, I'm going to get a little closer here. You can download it right there. You can actually go seamlessly and just push that little button right there. And it's going to take you 
to threads. You can post on threads and then you're able to transition back to Instagram. That seamless configuration is what is really making all of the um, social media influencers and those that post daily really excited that they don't need to exit out and go to another app. But uh, Mark Zuckerberg is just killing Twitter with that new option. So right now I just downloaded it maybe six days ago. I haven't even really been posting on there. I already have 600 followers on there. So it's pretty viral. There's no ads, which is great. There's no, um, um, no, no, it's just like, it's just brand new. So I would get in while you can now. And again, it's free. So you can't knock free. So if you're on Instagram a lot, I would go ahead and do threads. What is threads? It's the take on Twitter. So you're going to be able to do two to three sentences. Um, you can also do photos and videos if you want to, but it's pretty much just caption based. Never use Twitter. Yes. Hello there, Kelly Kubiak. I love it. All right. I'm also taking questions as you go. How many right now, going back to the basics again, I need to make sure you have a ring light and a tripod. Make sure you have a good phone. If you need to upgrade your phone, do so. And also, I want you to make sure you get this out of your head saying, I don't have time to do social media. It is the new economy. People are bartering. People's attention is there. It is where Z people are buying things. It is a consumer retail conglomerate in itself. So banish that old archaic thought, oh, I don't have time for social media. Well, maybe that's why we're not making enough money. Maybe that's why we're not getting that residual stream of income. Maybe that's why brands and other companies are not noticing us. Okay. Say you are a brand owner, a business owner like Kelly Kubiak. She is pumping her social media out there because there is a hair company, a shampoo company, a hair vitamin company. There is an eyelash tech that could come in and, and take up a little bit of that retail space in her spot there. You've got to be out there for opportunity. So right now I want you to get that out of your head. I don't have time to post while well, you're really leaving a lot of money and opportunity on the table. So I'm grateful for this opportunity. I like to say it like this. We don't have to, we get to post. So as you continue to grow and post and become more influential, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built. Okay. Some of these brands, that lady cut off the bottom of her pantyhose and made Spanx. She's a multi-million dollar mogul and brand now, and she's able to get to her audience with one click of a button. You're one click of a button away from your next big contract, your next big deal. So I want you to really sink your mindset into that and get excited, okay? So um, also this is about self-discovery. What are your favorite platforms? Do you like Instagram Reels? I personally love Instagram Reels, but I also like to go to TikTok. How many of you like to go to TikTok and make your video there and then download? Download from TikTok and put it in Repro repro on Instagram. I love to do that. And guess what? New feature on TikTok. A lot of you talkers out there are going to love this. You can actually download the link. So when you go to TikTok and you make your video before you upload it, and it has that TikTok watermark on it, I want you to get excited because there's going to be an arrow at the top of the screen. Download your video without the watermark. Okay, you can actually, down. that's a new feature. You can download your video without the watermark before you upload it to TikTok. I know you love that because you don't need that other TikTok watermark app. You don't need that, okay? You don't need to have another um, software where you're uploading the TikTok, ripping it down without the watermark and then putting up there Please, please, please aim not to post your TikTok video with the watermark on Instagram Reels because it'll be put in the black hole. It'll be put in the garbage. Okay, it's like bringing a Coca-Cola can to a Pepsi party. They don't like that. So think about the little things that make all the difference, okay? Um, right now, Queens, how many of you have a website? You need to always use your social media to drive it back to your website. That's what you want. You want to build your audience. You are using the social media platform to post and promote your website where you have your email opt-in, 
you're grabbing emails, you're able to then build your CRM, your customer relationship management software. And even if you don't have a, a, um, a, a website, maybe you're doing a jewelry fair, shout out to Dominique. Maybe you're doing a jewelry fair, shout out to Cat County in Scotland. Maybe you're going and you're selling something. You're at a festival and you're selling your necklaces, your, 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 your whatever you're selling, you can actually say, I will be here, meet me there. You gotta always have a call to action, CTA, call to action, or you're just doing it for vanity's sake and you're just creating content for you. So make sure you have a call to action. What is your call to action? Hey, everyone, I'm going to be doing this event. I'm going to be doing the retreat in July. Go to uh, VIPQueenRetreat.com. Get your ticket. So make sure you have something to promote and sell. Work on your products and services as well. And that's what's going to help you get a leg up in your social media. Okay, so right now we have stay-at-home moms. We have um, women that were just home takers that are now making money with their side hustle. They're making money with their, their residual stream of income by doing this. Yes. Call to action. Yes. Call to action with also with, um, Barry world foundation, help us create awareness, have people's stories. You know, Laura Castillo was really good with that. She has a, um, a, uh, a, a story about a five P uh, child every day. And I just love to know about the stories and what they're, they're behind the scenes of what that family story is. So it's really about bringing that storytelling into it as well. All right, queen. So right now, um, how many of you have updated your LinkedIn? LinkedIn is so important. If you want to be taken serious, you got to have a professional, uh, social media presence as well. So knock the dust off of your LinkedIn. I personally did. I went there and I was like, this is so old. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I let this go for so long. It takes literally three minutes to switch out your photo and also a top banner. It also lets people know, hey, I'm current. Same thing with your stories. Go to your Instagram right now and make sure your story isn't dead. It needs to be having that little circle going around showing you are maintaining this virtual property. Virtual real estate is here to make you money, okay? Queens, I cannot tell you enough. You know, it breaks my heart when people say, oh, I gotta leave the group because I cannot afford the $25 a month to pay you for this workout group. It pains me. And these are people that are doing Airbnb. Why are they not tapping into the social media to do Airbnb, you know, to promote what they're doing? It takes literally five minutes for me. I can't wrap my head around it. So get your, get really disciplined, get really strict with yourself and make sure you set the timer and be like, I'm going to sit down on a post call to action. I'm going to promote what I'm doing. I'm going to get my name, my message out there. And that's, what's going to really help you get a leg up in your promoting. Okay. So right now you're going to, um, also make sure you're LinkedIn and make sure you're also updating your link tree. Post your link tree on your Facebook, okay? Even update, right now we're finishing with the uh, 100 rep challenge. So a lot of you are taking your P-Week photos. Make sure you change out your default photo on your Facebook because that alerts everyone to that you updated it, that you are alive, <laughs> you are posting, you are receptive to people, okay? And right now, that's why I was able to have um, the beauty box say, okay, we want to pay you X amount of dollars, sign this contract for the year, and we're going to do a direct deposit. And if you just do user generated content, we're going to pay you. And Queens, that is so important. I'll tell you why, because I want you to write this word down, or maybe it's two words, self-promotion. You've got to remove the blocks that self promotion is bad. A lot of times people say, oh, I just can't put myself out there like you do. I just can't self-promote. Well, let me tell you what, sweetheart, if you don't self-promote, no one's going to promote you. News flash. If you are not making your own content and you are not filming yourself and you are not letting 8 billion people out there know what you're doing, no one, will, no one else will for you. So right now, self-promotion is essential. 
to marketing. And it's not even about, oh, look at me, I'm holier than thou and I'm better than everyone. It's not about that. It's about, I'm gonna film myself. My message is important enough to get out there to the airwaves and let people know that I am serious about my message, about my branding, about what I'm doing. Now, here's a kicker. Do you know how many times I get negative feedback on my social media? I really don't care because they're just um, cyber keyboard cowboys and they're just negative people. They're doing it to 10 other people besides me. I don't take it personally. So get out of your own way and don't let that bother you, okay? And the most important thing is, is that if your message is so important to you, you don't care what other people are saying. You're so in love with the passion of your message that you will get it out there, okay? So you can also go live on LinkedIn now. We mentioned that last time. Um, how is your YouTube going, everyone? Hello, YouTube. Emily, I learned the hard way that TikTok, what am I using? Thank you. That's That was a really good point, Emily. Absolutely. So happy you're here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stick with it. So Queens, very important. Um, right now, you are the CEO of your life. Okay. What would a CEO of her life do? She would make sure that she's on all social media platforms, YouTube, YouTube shorts, TikTok, reels, of course, Instagram, um, knock off the tick, the dust off the TikTok again, get threads, and you are pushing yourself out there, okay? So right now, your IG stories, a very highly receptive way to get people's eyeballs on your Instagram is to do a story, tag people in your story with a motivational quote. You don't need to always be selling something. Motivate them. Let them know that you are here to push and promote them, okay? And to connect with them. So. I can tell you right now that um, the click-through links also, say you have um, a, a, social share, a social sharing brand or product you want people to buy, make sure you do that link, click-through link. The beauty box is, box is on me to make sure that that link is clickable in my stories. So if you're promoting something that people need to get to, invest in, make sure you do a couple of motivational ones and then do like on the third one, whatever you are promoting and selling. All right, Queen. So again, I want you also, I said this at the beginning, before we bring Yaya on in three to four minutes, um, get out of your own way about thinking, oh, I'm not Jeffree Star with millions of um, influencers. No, you could be selling Avon. You could have your favorite lipstick. You could put it on your main profile on Instagram. And then you could have in your story, the click through to your favorite lipstick, and you could be making residual income, you know, major brands, even Louis Vuitton has an affiliate program. So everyone out there that wants to say, look, I have a Louis Vuitton bag. People ask me about it all the time. I'm going to put that in my story. I'm going to go to Louis Vuitton. I'm going to create an affiliate link, and I'm going to start getting a real big return on my investment. So no matter how little, it could be a lipstick, it could be a Louis Vuitton bag. Affiliate marketing is very, 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 very powerful, okay? Um, how many of you have been going live? I want to see. How many of you have been going live? I want to see you going live. I need you to go live. I need you to go live outside of our group, of course. So this way you get on um, the algorithm and um, do remixes. Remixes are a fun way for you to really create content the lazy way. Say I'm doing a motivational quote on one of my Instagrams. You can go and remix it and be like, wow, she made some positive points. Boom. You took my content, you wrote off the coattails and you're able to make something on your page. Get all of my followers on your page. That's the beauty of social media. You can take content and use it. I do that a lot of times for the beauty box right now. Cat, Harry, Right now, um, Kelly, all of you here, Emily, Yaya, you have the opportunity to make so much money and also build your name in this new economy. This is a new economy. It's called social media. It's not just post a picture and look at me, I'm cute. This is about a new financial economy. You have Venmo, you have Zelle, you have Cash App, you've got Facebook marketplace. I know warrior Wendy sold some things on Facebook marketplace. I know cat Kenny did. So this is your new economy. 
You got to look at it that way. You know how many times people said, I like that shirt. I'm like, okay, PayPal, uh, Zelle, Cash App, uh, um, me this, and I will send it to you. You are sleeping on a lot of opportunities. So right now, do your um, lives as well, because that'll really let people know you are a influential person in the social media. Um, we're going to be talking to uh, Yaya, who really loves to do Instagram reels. And she likes to use different songs and to take photos. She'll go and cover an event and then she'll go and make a video uh, reels afterwards. So Queens right now, I want you to know, you don't even need fancy editing tools. The more I, I went to the top TikTok influencers, it looks like they were being held hostage in Bangladesh or something. And it was just like so straightforward them in their efficiency apartment talking about a Chipotle burrito. And I know Chipotle is paying them out the wazoo to post about this burrito. So get out of your own way and just get a good ring light, get a good tripod and start creating content. People ask me, how do you get um, um, user generated content contracts? This is my formula. You got to make at least three posts. Say you love a certain mascara and you're like, you're going to make a post about the mascara, tag the brand, do that two more times, then take the screenshots, email it to that company and be like, look, I'm a social media influencer. This is the content that I made. Do you have any openings for social media influencers? And they, they will, everyone needs content made now. And they needed, they needed it yesterday. Okay. And if you wait to start doing this tomorrow, tomorrow's too late Queens. I want you now to, um, we're going to be uh, getting Yaya on Yaya is an amazing success story with social media. She started with a private, <laughs> private Instagram account. And she had a vision that she was going to become a top influencer. And she told her family, like, how could you do that? Your Instagram account is private. But she kept at it and kept at it. And she did sign up with private personal coaching with me one-on-one. -on -one. She saw how I was doing it. And now here you go, lo and behold. She's got contracts in the works. She's doing social media influencer work, uh, contracted with Destiny Spa. And I just love to see these stories, these success stories. Without further ado, I'm going to bring her on and we're going to have, ask her some questions, her insight. And yes, and we have to really promote each other, Queens. Okay, so this is about support. That's what I love about the influencer community is that we support each other. We're not knocking each other. We want each other to grow because if you grow, I grow. All right. So I'm going to get her to unmute herself and start video. All right. So, wow. We are in it to win it Queens. I love it. Hello, Yaya. How are you? Mwah. How are you Queens? Great. You look, you look amazing. I'm going to jump Thank right you. into it because we have a lot to cover and not a lot of time. Okay, right now, I'm going to ask you, first of all, congratulations on your social media a success. You've gotten many contracted opportunities. How have you used social media to do so? Well, let me tell you, it's just been blowing up. Thank you, Coach JNL, because I had to get out of my fear. Yes. And once I got out of my fear and you, with that coaching that you helped me with, that one-on-one, -on -one, it really blew that up. So seeing people see me i mean we have been at an events and people have been like wow i saw your content yes. and because of that i've had people come up to me and tell me that they want me to help them with their social media yes so now it's not just destiny med spa but there are others that are in the work i have done the collabs um and they have accepted the collabs and then followers on their um instagram pages has said we love your content Yes. And it was my content yes. <laughs> that they love. Yeah. That's a great tip. I want to reiterate that. So everyone out there that's doing reels, go ahead. Say you're doing a reel um, for X, Y, and Z. You're at this place. You can actually invite them as a collab. And I know this. We did it for a designer, a couture designer. Yes, he accepted Bosco. it. He accepted it. And it's on his profile. So we just gained a bunch of whole new audience. So that's a great tip. All right, I'm going to ask you this. And you Kofi's are... art gallery as yes. well. Yes, absolutely. And that's a great way. So right now, this is a tip for Emily. Emily, you should be making reels and having all of your YPP members at, say, will you, you know, at, invite them as a collab. They need to put it on their profile. We're here to support, okay? So right now, what is your fastest way to create reels? Are you using templates? Uh, shed well, some light about that. 
Another thing that you um, inspired in me was that templates you showed me because I like yes. taking my time and doing the reels. It's right. fun for me. That's one of the first things you have to make it fun. Yes. So if that was fun for me. It is a little time consuming at times. And you showed me templates. So when you go onto IG, once yes. you go to create a reel, there is a section that says templates. They have the audios there that you can choose. And then it will show you how many seconds per yes. picture it will go up. I mean, you could just throw pictures up on there and let them you know, fall as they may. Or you can really think them out for the key pictures to stay there longer. So that yes. has been another eye-opening, groundbreaking um, thing that you taught me. So I love that. That's great. So people that are afraid to show their face, a great faceless way to do a reel is take pictures, do little four second long videos because they're no really longer than four seconds. Then you're going to go into Instagram. Then you're going to go into reel. You're going to swipe left at the bottom. It's going to take you to templates, pick a trending template, add in your media. Boom. You've made a it's it's like really i'm going to be honest with you it is so easy to do and i love yes. now for those that want to link their face with the brand and their image you're taking your selfies you're taking your videos either tripod like i do like yaya does and you can make your reel as well all right right now See? you enjoy social media you obviously make it fun what is the secret to get out of your own way and make it fun and to do it i know people right now and i'm going to i'm going to really just blow it out yeah. of the water. I'm going to blow your minds. You probably have so much content in your phone that you meant to upload. It's still there. You haven't uploaded it. So how do you make it fun? How do you make sure you get it out? To, because it's not even worth capturing if you don't put it's it out. Not. Give me the tips on that. Get out of your own way. Stop the fear. Yes. Stop the little voice in your head thinking, oh, what are they going to think? What are they? What, what if I do yeah. this? What if I do that? Stop, crush that voice in your head and just do it. Yes. If you don't just get off and do and put up that content, it's just going to not be relevant anymore. Yes. Are you yes. going to put content that was six months old? No, yes. unless you're going to do it on a throw it back Thursday. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, or absolutely. Back Friday. But if not, you need to get out of your own way and you need to have confidence. But you know where all this confidence comes from, J Coach JNL? Where? From you. Ah, thank you. you. I'm going to you. And the VIP powered lifestyle. Because now that I feel more confident, like she said, I was on a yep. private account. I had no idea. I had that dream. I had that vision. Everyone laughed yep. at me. And look at me now. <laughs> I'm so proud of you because you are a great success story. And we're going to take your tools, tips, and techniques. And I just want to say something right now. It's never been easier than ever to create content. And I'm mm -hmm. going to talk to you right now, Kelly, Yelly, Diane, Emily, right now, everyone here, you are an assignment. This is your fun work. I want you to take everything you learned here. I want you to do an Instagram reel. I want you to do a story. I want you to knock the dust off your LinkedIn. I want you to go back in your TikTok. I want you to make sure you're going to do a Facebook live. Go live, get out of your own way. You need to get attention. We are selling attention, but make it meaningful. This is very impactful. What Yaya does, and, and of course it's the queen's way, the queen branding is that we yes. make it impactful. We make it full of passion and purposeful. It's not about ego. Look at me, I'm doing no. this. That turns no. people off. They yeah. don't care what you're doing. How can you serve your audience? We're here to serve our audience. We want to motivate you. I want to motivate you with what I'm saying that you can touch someone on the opposite side of the world. Okay, Dynamite Donna, you have an amazing charity. We want to know how we can help. You know, that that is on the rise. So we want to bring awareness. We want to say, you know what? I want you to have fun with, uh, with social media. So what Yaya did, she is um, having fun with it. And it's almost like a taste test, you know, try yep. new platforms, see what tastes best for you, where you get the most traction, uh -huh. right? So um, I have I'm to do that. I have to expand. Like you said, I have to expand now into my LinkedIn. I have to go yes. back to TikTok. Yes. So thank you for always being so yes. relevant, for always yeah. going above and beyond yep. and finding the best things to then really Yes. Do it for us. <laughs> Absolutely. And guess what I want to say? I'm going to make it a goal for everyone. Everyone go to your LinkedIn. Let's build our professional network. I should right now have already one year ago 
um, have gone into my LinkedIn and linked with every one of our VIP queens, most importantly, every one of the Miami women who rock queens, the YPP members, because that's a big one for you, Emily. Everyone needs to be on that as well, because then we can repost and there's power in numbers. Now, I want to ask you this. Um, this is a big one. This is our next question. You are set up with a ring light, et cetera. What other tools are helpful for you to expedite high quality content just through the power of your cell phone? Well, first of all, this, it goes up and down. It can be tabletop. Oh, nice. It can be, I, and I also have a professional ring light. And I also have the Ilios lamp, which is the makeup mirror that is also a major social media marketing tool as well yes. that I will be using soon. And yes. I just got this phone ring oh, light. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I want to say this. Also go to Amazon, Queens. Write this down. This has that's been for, a- oh, This is from Amazon. And that's it. And you know what? By the way, you want to get the Amazon basic tripod with the cell phone holder. And another question yes, came up I as I show too. this. Yeah, I'm going to show this right now. It's on the opposite side. Here I go. So you have this here and it collapses very small, but you want to have this ready to go. So- Right now, as you can see, this is what holds your cell phone. So you want to get this attachment and then I'll put the links in um, our social media group as well. I have Queens, right now, we have to be more receptive in our chat boxes. So when we post and we ask for your support, we should all be rushing at that moment if we can time, you know, permission permitted if you're in a meeting or whatnot. But when you do your one post of the day, we should all be supporting, but it's up to you to say, okay, this is my post of the day. Let me forward it to the chat box. Um, I know that I've been very good with that. Yaya has been good with that. I need you to let us, I want to support you, but I yeah. don't have time to go and hunt and find. So say, I just made a new post, Sarah, shout out to Sarah Omen. She's good with that new boom. Okay. Like it On to the next, um, it takes three seconds. So you don't need to write like a love letter on the post, a couple of words, you know, 10 words is good with a couple of emojis. And then we're helping each other grow. All right. Now I want to uh, ask me a couple of questions, Yaya, because we are flying here. Okay, so what's important for social media success? The JNL okay. version. Yes. Okay, good. The most important thing is right now, a lot of people have been asking about what about art artificial intelligence? I want to say this. Artificial intelligence will not replace you. And the good news is, is that as we go into this new frontier, we as social media influencers and me as an author, you know, the 18th book is coming up. I'll be using this a lot to promote the 18th book. That's my next question. On the YouTube. <laughs> a lot, and, and yeah, okay, okay, keep that question. Um, you can actually use artificial intelligence. It's not going to use you. So don't be afraid about that. Once you master your social media, you're going to be able to get more done in less time. You can go to chat GTP and say, okay, give me three topics on, you know, fitness, how to get flat abs. Boom. Of course, you add your your mm -hmm. um, experience and expertise to that. So I don't want you to get worried about that. You're actually able to use it. It's not going to replace you. You're actually going to get more traction and be able to expand more to do that. So um, right now, I want to just take a quiz while everyone is listening to the, our question and answer. How many of you are on YouTube right now? YouTube is essential. I'll tell you why. Yesterday was Throwback Thursday. I was able to go to my YouTube channel, which is my broadcast station, which we're, I'm streaming live here. I'm able to do my NBC, CBS, all of this. It's like my Netflix. You have your own channel. It's free. YouTube does not charge you. It's free, F-R-E-E. -E. And I was able to go through the Navi bar and go to my videos and with one click of a button, go to my oldest video I've ever uploaded, which was 15 years ago. When I, I, was, on, when I was on Inside Edition, I was able to extract that link and post it on my Facebook and say, Happy Throwback Thursday. This is one of my first videos I posted on YouTube. You're building your library. Now, that's one thing you can't really do with Facebook. You can't really do with um, other social media platforms. That's why I really am pro YouTube because then when you really get going, you can monetize your channel and you can allow ads to be on and you're making money in your sleep, okay? So right now, I want you to get so focus on your YouTube, go and make a video. Go, and the funny thing is, is that you can go and do a live on Instagram, and then you're able to rip that down and upload it to your YouTube and you have it there forever. You have it 
It's a great database. That's my point. You're able to go and search. What did I do 15 years ago last year? So um, as we have a lot of noise on the social media frontier, it's a great way for you to document and um, have it as a library. So um, I know that you've been really good with that. Yeah, yeah, you've been taking all your content. You're gonna now get it on your YouTube. So this way you can have to that do that content. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, exactly. And so that's really, really awesome. I'm so excited. So, all right, another question. Okay, now you're gearing up for 1010, your yes. 18th book yes. launch. Yes. Yes. The 1111 live in person party on Feb um, for the February 3rd VIP Queen Boss Babe Masterclass. Yes. With so many other women. You have the book launch. Yes. Then February 3rd, you have the Boss Babe. Then you're going to have the Tampa Boss Babe. How are wow. you doing all this? How's social media yeah. um, really um, supercharging you yes. getting all these beautiful messages out at all these events? Well, I want to go back to what I love this quote. We don't have to, we get to. When I started Queens and everyone here watching, Emily, Dynamite Donna, Yelly, Carrie, everyone here, you have so much opportunity in your hands. I don't compete with anyone. I create. Thus, social media creator, creating content, creating books, creating events, producing these different events. But the beauty is, is that you get free marketing. You get free advertising where everyone is. You get to have your cell phone, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You can say what you want, how you want to say it, and you can put it out there with a click of a button. I don't think people know how important that is. I think I love this so much is because I started my career in 2003 when we yeah. didn't have smartphones, we didn't have apps, we didn't have social media, and it was so hard to get my marketing out. That's why I love this. You are a pioneer. Yeah. You really are. Yeah, thank you so much. And, and so right now, everyone watching, I want you to get excited about posting daily, building your audience, make it a conversation, okay? I love to do the sweepstakes. I love to do the contests. I love to do the raffles. So this way I make it beneficial. It isn't like, oh, just come here, watch me speak because I'm fabulous and all that. No, it's, so it's, it's, it's about, I want to serve you. You got to come from a servant energy where I've been there. I know what you're going through. I'm going to give you th hope. I'm going to give you a, a, a raffle, a giveaway, a contest. We're, we're giving away an airfare ticket to the retreat next year. You know, uh, Diane Wiley, given, she'll be going live on Tuesday, the 25th to give away a $250 retreat ticket. So wow. this is not a make believe virtual world, guys. When people say, get off social media, let me tell you what, we're Hello. changing people's lives. I'm going to go in right now. We are angels on earth and we are digital angels. We are virtual angels. We're able to use the power of social media to change people's lives and also be relevant, also extract consumer insights, also touch someone on the opposite side of the world that's having a bad day. Okay, when I did my uh, beauty box Amazon live, Carrie was like, you know, not really feeling it. But then she's like, oh my God, they're doing their nails. She got her nails out. She did it. She, it, it, it's just great. We, we are connecting. So when you're making, here's the tip. When you are creating your social media content, look at me. I'm, make sure you look into the camera. And when I penetrate this lens and I'm looking right in this lens, I'm looking at you, one person, you. That's why people say, Man, when you go live, I feel like you're talking right to me because I am. I'm not just, hey, look at me. I'm filming myself and wasting time. I'm changing lives. You have the power to do that too. So get out of your own way, get that camera and look straight into that lens, look into the own, your own eyeballs and change someone's life like I did with the mirror neurons on March 18th, three and a half years ago with Kelly. So right now it's not about just sales. You're going to link your passion, your story. You know, Yaya is a weight loss success story. She went from hiding to look at me. This is where I love the power of social media. People that hated cameras now are so confident and they love to do their self-promotion. You are you the CEO what, Coach, of your life. Yes. That's what cracked it for me as well. I yeah. wanted to be the light for some other woman that was yes. sitting on her couch, yes. not knowing how to get out of her own funk. Yes. And that's what I wanted. And that's what yes. I think really broke that fear. 
I wanted to reach yep. those women just like you reach all of us so that it could really spark something. And that's yep. what helped me get out of that fear now that I realized that. Absolutely. I wanted to help others. Absolutely. And Kat says, yes, coach. Monica says, yes, be seen. Yes. And I want to say this, Queens, you've got to do this. You're going to have a documentary style of filming, which is going to help you not be like, oh, I didn't make any content today. Oh, well, another day of me not posting. Get that out of the way. You've got to have a ring light set up and a tripod set up. Okay. Well, shout out to Rhonda Wallace. She was washing her face. She's just talking. People like that. It's like we're talking. You're connecting with someone. I'm getting ready for the movies. Oh, and I'm doing my fitness challenge. Have that set up so you are creating. Have one in your kitchen when you're doing your food. Have one in your salon when you're doing someone's hair. Shout out to Kelly. Have one in your diva den when you're talking about fashion. Have one in your That's bathroom. That's coming. That's coming. Yes. Have one in your bathroom. I travel with one. I have a ring light in my car with a tripod. Always. Yeah. Always. So you got to treat this like a job. It's a job that will pay you crazy. If you do it right, you got to be consistent though. So I want you to be consistent and I want you to post. So you're going to go from shit. Here's the, here's the kicker. Write this down. I will shift from the mindset of, oh, I got to create content to documentary style. You're filming on the fly. We see Dominique do that a lot. She's making her jewelry. Yeah. She'll do behind the scenes. She's doing her bicycle ride. She'll film it. She's doing her her, um, you know, reels, she just starts filming. She, when she's doing a workout, she'll do the fast paced workout. She'll uh -huh. speed it up, you know, shout out to twinkle. I Sam. I know she posts a lot in the group, so she's always creating content. So, and at the end of the day, when you look back at your life and you're doing your, your progress report, you can actually make a video montage of your whole month. And it's so beautiful right now. I feel that people are scared and I, I'm, and I'm going to answer this. And I know you're asking this question, but where do I start? I don't have anyone watching my content. Yes, you do. I'm giving you my audience of the VIP Hello. queens. Hello. <laughs> you have an experience. You don't need to start from scratch. Not taking advantage of this is a blasphemy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you can't hit people over the head hard enough with, with my cell phone in a loving way. So I, know. I just want to say that um, if this is a creator economy and, and, so get out of your own way with that. And I'm going to be reading comments. Monica says, I have so many clips of my kids' sports. Yes, you should be pumping that out there. Valerie, I want to learn that too. I've noticed with some influencers. Yes. So Queens, you can actually take one video and repro it on platforms. It's called Mixed Martial Arts. And you and I, Yaya, talked about this. Oh, yeah, we're where, doing it. Yeah, we have the kick, the jab, the punch, the, the knee and the groin, where we're hitting <laughs> social media, guerrilla warfare style to get major traction where we are doing teamwork, tag team, and we're doing it on Instagram, Reels, Stories, YouTube, and also LinkedIn. But if you're like, okay, that's too much for me, Coach Daniel, pick one, pick one. And I would have to say it's gonna be Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you go, of course, and TikTok. You can create on TikTok I'm and then put there. it back on Reels and do the template and just get it up and out. And also go to social media marketing agencies and create a profile, okay? This group is, we, when we love, I'm always wearing your bracelet. I always wear your bracelet, okay, Dina Madonna. I'm always wearing Dina, uh, Donna's, um, Dina, Dominique's. So we're here to support each other. So I wanna ask you, Yaya, what has been your biggest thing that has helped you go from zero to hero from a private page to now a public page, getting these contracted, contracted user generation accounts. And, and you're making money now in your sleep. Tell us what has helped you to help our audience. You coach, Aww, the coaching, you. taking advantage of everything. It's just really watch you, yeah. watch you and then replicate what you do get out of your own way and you need to be visible you need to be present and then of course you also have to be authentic too yeah people yeah. love that authentic the authenticity yes. Yes. so yes that's how it all started um people really looking at what i was posting because you would put me on the spot and yeah. you would really 
you know, rattle me. Oh yes, yes, right now. Let's do this right and now. I did. Throw it off if a cliff. I did not get out of my own way. These opportunities would not be happening. And it's not just Destiny Med's fault. I've already been contacted by others that I cannot talk about right now and others that I'm doing and getting paid for doing their social media without it knowing that it's me. But so that is, yeah, it is powerful. But if you don't get up and doing it and just do it, it's and not you know going to happen. Say? And it's, I'm going to be honest, it's not like you have the biggest following, but it's, uh, these people are thinking, does she look good on camera? Is she consistent? Is she mediagenic meaning? Is she look ready to film? Is she getting, is she helping me with the micro teaching? See the micro learning, everyone write this down. That's a social media term, micro learning. So you're able to show them, this is what this does. This is what this does. And then you leave them wanting more micro learning. So I'll do a video on, Hey, do you want to know how to get flat abs? Abs are made in the kitchen. Let me show you what I'm eating to get flat abs, pineapple, asparagus. Boom. If you want more, go to my group, micro learning. You want to give them a little tip because people don't have all day to watch your videos. So don't be going on and on and on, make a micro learning tip, give people one piece of advice or tip. So they, they learn and they get value, right? They get value when they're watching. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that type of facial existed or whatnot. And then they, they want more. And then they subscribe to your channel. Product teasers are very important as well. By the way, big shout out to Yaya. She got her hex clad brand attention. She was cooking. She's like, let me tag them. They ended up liking. Now, hex clad, if you don't know, is a- They've liked me already a few times. There you go. So right there, maybe there is the next step would be to reach out to them. You know, is there's maybe there's a product endorsement. Maybe they're going to send her an eight piece cooking set to review. They I need reviews to... right there. <laughs> so for me, um, a real quick Queens, I was blessed enough to win a photo shoot. Now from that photo shoot, people are asking me, I want to win that. I have an affiliate link. Anyone that signs up through my affiliate link, I'll get financially compensated. And also I'm able to give a giveaway. So I'm able to award someone. So opportunity is out there. So right now I would have to say the number one tip is just to get started. You got to start it. somewhere That's it. and you don't know what the temperature of the water is until you jump in. You just got to get start creating. It's not going to be perfect, but you just got to, you know, just punch fear in the face and get start filming right now. So I want to ask everyone. And I want to say one yes. thing quick, and it is the VIP queen power lifestyle. Me trying to promote that, not trying, me promoting that and showing how it's changed my life has put the eyes on me because they've seen the difference as well as promoting, sharing, and commenting on all our sisters. It is, we're stronger together. So right. thank you coach for always instilling that because the VIP program, that's what got me on the spotlight. So thank yeah. you. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. I just love that, you know, and, and I'm here to support and pull the best out of everyone and everyone out here watching. Um, Kelly loved the micro learning point. Yes. You've got to give them a little micro learning. You know, she's certified in 30 different methods. Talk wow. about how I wanted all this method because I want to give you this little tip. This is how it's going to help you. Boom. And people love to learn, to, to learn. So what are you, what is, what is your core expertise? What is your core genius? What do you want people to know about you? What is it that you want to kind of get consumers attention on, maybe you want to do a sweepstake, maybe you want to do a giveaway. Um, and to wrap this, it's time that we land this plane. <laughs> we went flying high in July. I want you now to make sure to recap. What is your return on investment? It's what you put into it. We have people that were just started doing their own social media. Now they're running a, um, a quarter of a million dollar firm doing social media marketing agencies. Maybe that's not your goal, but that's just to let you know of what you can do. Thanks. Make sure you do your two cents on at least 30 different accounts. Here's a great tip before you go live or you go and you post do five minutes of just posting on Instagram to wake up the algorithm and then post yours. And as soon as someone comments, you know, entertain their comments. And remember, download threads. It's a Twitter killer. Make sure you just try it out. Even if you're like, ah, it's not for me, just at least try it out, especially if you're Instagram a lot, which we are. And um, make sure you have it fun. This is about having 
fun creating your content. People pick up on that and penetrate that lens. Make sure you connect with your audience. Anything you want to say before we sign off and we close out, Yaya? I'm so proud of all the VIP Queen sisters that did the 100 rep challenge. Yes. Coach, thank you for motivating and inspiring us. Consistency is key. Keep yes. on doing, keep on posting, keep on sharing. If you don't share and yes. you don't cheer each other on, That's right. you know, it's what, what, what do we have? We That's need it. to really share our light and we yes. share our light by sharing what we're doing, but we also share our light by commenting on our sisters, commenting That's and sharing. It's not so just beautiful. look at me. You can do a look at me, but look. share, yeah. you know, share and share your light. So that is so important in social media, in our sisterhood, you know, yes. this is a sisterhood. Yes. So we really Beautiful. need to put our forces together, put our lights together and shine. Okay. Yes. Get that Care Bear stare going. And thank yes. you, Coach JNL, because you are that blinged out lighthouse that attracted us all to elevate us to shine the way that we're shining. I love that point. Thank you so much. Let's support each other. Emily just said, just got on threads and tagged the CEO Boz Babes conference in February with you, coach. She'll be speaking there. This is huge. So Alice proud of Queen. you, Emily. Yes. And Rhonda Wallace says the 180 principle. That's right. Put your two cents on at least X amount of different accounts. So people know you're vibrating higher. You're welcome, Valerie. We want to see more of you because you're beautiful and the camera loves you. Say, I want you to say that to yourself. The camera loves me. Yaya made a great point support, cyber cheering. People say, oh, get off of social media. Social media has oh. mended broken marriages. Yes. Social yeah. media, what we're doing here in our group has helped people lose weight and stop self-sabotaging behaviors. It has helped people elevate in their profession. It has helped people connect when they're having a bad day, get out of that funk. So don't be saying, Oh, I can't be on social media. I don't know what social media you're looking at. We are virtual digital angels making yeah. powerful impacts. Now, if you've got an extra $10,000 a month in your marketing budget and you want to pay that to a marketing company to do your social media, be my guest. But that's not what I want to do. Call me. <laughs> yeah. I, hello, call me. Are you, I'm, I mean, are you hiring? So do it yourself. Get on a good schedule. You have an instant audience here. And I'm so excited. You know a lot of people in your network. Your network is your net worth. Make sure you invite them as a collaborator. I invited Kelly Kubiak as a collaborator for the March 16th VIP Queen Tampa Bay one. You know, once we do our retreat, that's going to go crazy like viral wildfire. It's about going viral. How do you go viral? Being consistent, making it fun. And guess what, Queens? As I land this plane, the videos only need to be seven to 10 seconds long. You need to go, you don't need to go on and people don't have time to go on and on and on. Give them a micro tip on to the next. Lead them and say, subscribe for more and keep building. Oh my gosh, let's go viral yeah, queen. Yeah, 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 Big yeah. round of applause for Yaya. Big round of applause for everyone here. Do me a favor. Let everyone know how much value you got from this social media class. I'm going to get everyone's handle so we can support each other, get to posting, have fun. And remember, if you don't do it, no one else will. We don't have to. We get to. Thank yeah. you, Valerie. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Dynamite Donna. Let's go viral. Woo yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>